Hello, welcome back to Ignite. I am Lightning here with my friend of 15, 15 years? Try 13. Where am I getting 15? I don't know. 15 years. Haley. What? It's 13. 13. Damn it. You think I'm good at this. No. I know you're not. That's why I keep track of the dates. Yeah. Um, so we've been friends for 13 years. Mm-hmm. We met in middle school, first day, sixth grade. Yep. Megan, first of all, this is season three. So welcome to season three. Haley will be the guesting co-host for season three. And Megan just had her baby. <laughs> little baby. Little I nugget. want I want a little nugget. Little nugget. She's her name is Samantha. She's very, very cute. Megan was very miserable. She was ready to have that kid. Oh, oh my god. She was doing everything to like have this baby. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanted to see her on that bouncy ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her little pregnancy ball? <laughs> yeah. I know I would we would play with her and stuff and she would tell me she's like, Oh yeah, I'm like I'm on my ball. I'm like Okay. <laughs> Try not to go in labor during this, please. Yeah. I was like, you know what? You you were in here. I was like, watch. She's, like, we're going to get into a game. And then the baby's going to be like, hey, time to go. And Megan's going to sit here and be like, you know what? You waited fucking 10 weeks or um 10 months. You can wait another fucking 15 seconds while I die. Like, yeah. you know, suck the bitch back up in there or whatever. I, I told her to, like, light a fire to try to smoke it out. It's not a demon. Although, you know, okay, I could argue that it is. Yeah. I think all kids are demons, but... Uh. The hellion creatures. Little crotch goblins. You're right. However, <laughs> do we do we really want to discuss Let's not how horrible ch- how horrible children are? This is supposed to be a fantastic occasion for Megan and Epic and, <laughs> and we're over here like, hey, they're fucking spawn of Satan. <laughs> hey, come on, Megan would agree. She can. I can't tell you how many times that she's like shown me injuries. Like the one time Max like smacked her really hard in the eye. And he, she was like, I think I'm going blind. I was like, why does your baby hate you? Like, Children he, like to hit. My God, all the time. Shoot, remember when Jeanette was little? Oh, my God. So Jeanette is Haley's little sister. Little, I say. She's mm. se- eight, almost 18, right? Or she is 18. No, she's 17. 17. So she'll be 18 in November. Mm-hmm. I forget she's Ashley's age. Um, when So I've known Haley for a very, very long time. Very, very long. Yeah. Been through some shit, ups, downs, uh-huh. breakups, men, uh, all that. We used to date. It's a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess. All of it's just a mess. We used to date, and now I'm married to a man, Stephen. Um, so tell them how we met, because I like when you tell the story. The way we met would not, you would not think <laughs> that we would have become like the best of friends God. with the way that we met. Okay, so it's the first day of sixth grade. I am new to the district um, because I used to live in East Detroit, but my mom's like, we need to get the hell out of there. Yeah. So Well, keep in mind, I was new too because I was supposed to go to Central and I went to South. True. Okay. So we both knew no No one, one. (laughs) not a soul. (laughs) Nope. So I was was an angry kid, okay? You still are. (laughs) Keep going. (laughs) Okay. Mm. Not even going to get into that one. <laughs> um, so I was a very angry kid, and I was pissed that I had to start another new school, because I think that was school number four at that point. Yep. Um, And I'm just walking down the hallway trying to get to my locker, and all of a sudden this skinny-ass twig bitch Hi. rams into me. And I In all fairness, it was an accident. Still. And I drop all my stuff, and... Uh, and I pretty much just cussed his ass out. <laughs> yep. And then, um, so after that, I didn't know who she was. I just thought people at the school, like when I, when I, when she cussed me, I was like, Jesus Christ, people here are fucking mean. <laughs> like we lived in, at the time it was a decent area. It wasn't horrible. Now it's kind of going downhill. Like everywhere else. Everywhere. So I was just like, oh my God, this bitch is fucking rude. Like, excuse you. Like mm-hmm. I'll pick up my shit. Fine. And uh, then we went to our first hour, and I noticed that she was there. Math. And I was like, great, cool. I can't wait to be bullied. I was so excited. Yeah, we were glaring at each other throughout the whole class. Then we had, I want to say we had three classes. We had math, 
Jim. Jim. And, and then tech ed. and then tech ed. So Jim, we kind of didn't. We kind of ignored each other because we still didn't know who we were. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't forget who met Stephen first. Stephen Hole. Oh my God! I don't Blast remember from the past. I don't oh remember my God. who met him I first. I haven't thought of him in years. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was you. You met him in the boys' locker room, I think. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Oh. right so we do gym and then tech ed comes around and at this point i was like okay this bitch i'm gonna see from what looks like a lot might as well try to like make a friend you know i was very very shy and very again new i'm pretty sure you were feeling the same way i was feeling like very defensive very scared like mm-hmm. i did not want to be there no. and i was like you know what I'm going to shoot my shot and try to be friends. And my way of shooting my shot and trying to be friends was annoying the absolute piss out of her. Oh, my God. I wanted to drop your ass so bad. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. I would go up behind her and, like, flick you. and You kept on poking me constantly. Like, hey. Yep. Hey. Hey. Yep. Hey. Because I was like, she already doesn't like me. What else can I do to make this bitch mad? I think my intention was to just piss you the fuck off so you would, like, hate your life every day you came to these class. I already class. did. Oh, it was just... And I don't even know how it happened, but next thing we knew, yeah, the next thing we know, we're like hanging out, and then um, we're hanging out with Steven, and then Keith got involved, and Keith's the one that stuck. Yeah. So we're Steven still kind of. I don't like, know what happened to him. He fell off the grid. Um, there was a rumor that he was into drugs and stuff, but I know he wasn't. Yeah, no, um, he was never that kind of guy. He was a dick. His but... his brother, I think his brother just does like weed or whatever. Yeah. Um, which is whatever I do weed too. Like, it's no big deal. But I, I always thought that, like, Steven would stick. But then I feel like when you left, he kind of, like, because we all know he had a thing for you. We Did all he? knew he had a thing for you. Yes! I didn't know that! We all knew he had a thing for you. It was so easy. That's why I would make fun of you guys so much. and be like, oh, yeah, you guys are going to be fucking and shit. Like, when I was writing, like, those little books in like, middle school. Is that why you always paired yes! up books? Yes! Because I was like, you guys are going to be fucking, like... I want to look him up like, hey, what you doing now? <laughs> he looks the exact same, by the way. Does he? Not even shitting you. He looks the exact same. I think I have him on like Instagram or something and he looks, him and his brother look exactly like, by the way, they're not twins. Well, maybe they are. No, they're, they're not twins. Or they're very, very close up, like close together, like yeah, a no, year the apart. The twins you're thinking of are, uh, I think their names were Chris and Mike, Christopher and Michael. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, Those are the, the twins. twins. Yep. But, um, yeah, we were friends with Keith, and then Keith's the one that stuck, and now we're still friends. I just saw him on Saturday. Yeah, shoot. Like, I hang out with him a lot, like a yeah. lot. But, yeah, we were really close throughout sixth grade. It was the whole group, and then my parents made the announcement, like, a month before school let out, like, hey, we're moving. I remember that I still have the goodbye oh, card. Oh, my God. Okay, so... I am dyslexic and can't spell for shit. For shit. Okay? And it was before I got help and got put on meds and stuff, so I misspelled by. What's your Wattpad username? Uh, It's not Random Girl at Peace anymore, is it? No, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, well, follow her on Wattpad. She wrote, um, she's writing some cool shit. It, it's terrible. Just it's it. She's writing some good shit. Follow her on wait, that. Hold on, let me double check that. That's <laughs> hold on. I couldn't remember because I thought no. you changed it. Oh no no no! It's always underscore escape. Yeah, I thought you changed it. Yeah. Okay. So follow always underscore escape on Wattpad and it's copy. It's copy. and read what Haley's writing. Also follow me on Wattpad and read lightning and lightning too. <laughs> I need to start uploading because... You do? I haven't uploaded any of Life of the Unexpected. Mm-hmm. So she had this book on Wattpad. The Rogue is the Alpha's Mate. Is that what it was called? Uh, yes. So it was really good. She wrote it when she was really young, right? I was 12. How okay. many views did... How many reads did your book get? Because I think it got uh, more than Lightning. Uh... 331,000. Okay, yeah, you got more than Lightning. Lightning only got like 5.2K. Yeah. No, and I changed the title to The Alpha That Changed My Life. Okay. That's that's what it was. That's what it was. 
I was 12, I had just discovered Wattpad, and I was so excited to be able to write stuff, so I just kind of wrote it without having any kind of plan in mind. But you know so. what, for, for, for you being 12, it was very good. Like, when I look back at stuff I wrote when I was 12, like, I used to, so the way that I used to write, I think you used to do it too, would actually be writing it down on paper. Yeah, yeah. I, still, I still write it on paper. I write, like, my notes and stuff on paper, but I try my best to either do it on my phone, but that can get tricky too. Like, I'm still going through and finding errors in Lightning. Like, when we did the prototype uh, mm-hmm. published copy, I was looking through, like, the back of it has a, a, a spelling error or it's missing a word. Um, the first page it's missing the very end like I don't know why it cut it out like I know it's there I double checked it's there but book baby cut it out on accident I think so we're trying to first of all they're they're still closed due to COVID so we're trying to get we're waiting for them to reopen so we can order because it's been pre-orderable for like two years yeah. and we're ready to order the the copies that people have ordered but with them being closed because of COVID they're still closed like they need to reopen first like there's nothing I can do about that but when I read your stuff, like you, your punctuation was so much better because I feel like I just get lazy with it. I'll not lazy. I'll be so focused on writing out what's happening as it's playing in my mind like a movie. But while I'm doing it, I'll forget. Like, I'll be like, oh, I'm spelling it wrong, but I'll go back and spell it right later. And I never do. I'm like, oh, I'm not adding punctuation. But I, before I forget what's going on, like in my head, I need to write it down. You take the time as opposed to me who just wants to get it done and over with. But I have, in all fairness, I have a lot of projects going on at once. So I'm like, when I have to sit down and work on the book, I'm like, okay, I have like an hour dedicated to working on the book. And then I have to go and record for white noise or I have to do any of this shit. Like I have a lot going, don't get me wrong. I still love writing and I would love to get back into it. But my main focus has been YouTube and music. Yeah. Um, See, for me... I think what we did during quarantine really helped. Like, every yeah. Wednesday, we would video chat yep. and write our books while video chatting. And then once we were done writing, we would go and edit each other's work. Yeah, we would put it through, like, Google, the cloud and Google or something, Google yeah, Drive. Yeah, we have each other's Google uh, accounts. Yeah. And we were able to, like, I, we were actually able to write in each other's books of, yeah. and change, change <clears throat> stuff, which I really, really liked. Yeah. Um, it's a cool little feature i didn't even know that we could do right and then we could do it from our phones too (laughs) like technology i don't prefer it i don't but technology's been getting like fucking nuts like not get into the topic of technology jesus (laughs) that that's a that's a rabbit hole right there yeah but but it was a good time and i think it did help it forced us to because let's uh, since we've done doing that, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't written shit. I think I, I either. I think I put out like three more episodes of Savior, and Savior's been going on for, I want to say like a year and a half, two years, and the first season's not even done because I just don't focus on it. Right. I have, I've had the description of Life of the Unexpected since I was, I think, 18. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm 23 now. So, I've had it for a very long time. By the way, our birthday is, our birthdays are like a month apart. Yeah. So, we're very, very close in age. Yeah. And our sister's birthdays are in the same month. Yep. No, they're not. And they're the same age. No, they're not. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, very close. Ashley's is in January. Jeanette's older. I always forget that. Yep. Why, why do I think that it's in November also? Because it's so close. Because Jeanette's is at the end of November or mid, mid, mid Mid, to, mid mid to end. And then Ashley's is just a month later because hers is in the end of January. So it's it's very quick. Plus, yeah. on top of that, that's a very busy time of the year with Thanksgiving, Christmas. Oh, yeah. That time always gets very janky with me. Because, well, the time, for me, I feel like the time just kind of flies. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like, I'm at work every day during that time. So I'm just, like, counting down the days because as soon as Christmas is done, I have six months off. And I'm so fucking excited for that because I've been <laughs> working my ass off for eight months straight. Yeah. Which I feel so stupid when I say that because it's, like, I keep forgetting that people have a year-round full-time job. And I'm over here like, oh, my God, I can't wait for, like, work to be done. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, work's never done. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I take time off. I am struggling having a job again after quarantine because I lo- I was working two jobs and I lost them both at the beginning of quarantine in 2020. Right. And I finally got a job again. And, oh, my God, my body is not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I am dying. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do this, this, and this this week. Ah, oh, crap. I got to work. Well, because, like, you're in retail. So I feel like going from not doing nothing for a long period of time 
to like, more, over a year going right back into retail and it's not like you're i'm not going to say where you work but it's not like your business is slow nope but I will say this, at least you don't have to get up from doing nothing and just automatically start lifting like 200 pound walls. Like, <laughs> just be happy you're not like building stores. Yeah, but also think about this. Where I work, I don't do any stock or anything like that because I've had a lot of retail jobs and all of that. I would do stock. I would do cashiering. I would be on the floor. I would do all of it. Right. Here, if I'm not helping a customer, I am standing there doing nothing. And yep. that is driving me nuts. I'm like, this is a waste of my time just standing here. Give me something to do. Right. See, that's why I like I like Spirit because, like, we set up so fast. If yeah. we're slow, there's always something to do. Right. Because back it's not done yet. All that. Yeah. I can't do backstock. Really? Yeah. No, there's only specific people that can do backstock. Oh, no, thank you. I would lose my – well, in all, in, all, in all fairness, like – I don't think I'll ever be able to work f for a retail company without being in charge again. Yeah. Because it's, I like the way I run things and cause it goes smooth and like you worked for me last year. Like if I, I'm not the easiest person to work for, but no, you become kind of a bitch during season. Well, but, in all and, fairness, you, know, you are very stressed out. In all fairness, okay, anything that goes wrong is put on me, mm -hmm. and that don't get me wrong, that is very stressful. But I do like running it my way, because I I just I don't know. I feel like once you run things your way, especially in retail, you don't ever want to work for someone else. Yes. And that's why I'm like I want to get ten years at Spirit, so I won't have a problem finding a full time management position somewhere else. Mm -hmm. but I do going back to the books. I really do like how, cause it forced us to do it because I haven't done it since we did that. I haven't either. I'm only, I'm still on. What did I leave off on chapter seven or eight? I'm still I think on so. that. And oh, that's a lie. I wrote a couple chapters before we moved, but oh, okay. I want to say it was like two because yep. I was like, I need to get this done. Cause save your season one's been out for years. It's not done. Yeah. I can't remember what I left. Oh, God, excuse me. What I left off on. I want to say. Okay, I left off on episode 10. Right, hold on. Let me check this. That was quick. it. Lightning 2 has been out for a year, and there's only three chapters left. But in all fairness for Lightning 2, I need help remembering what happened because I simply don't. Yeah. Um. So in Lightning 2, I'm at the part where my husband leaves, and I don't remember how that went because I, I feel like I just kind of blocked it out. We're fine now, obviously like we're married, right. but like I, I simply just don't remember what the fuck happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I left off on chapter eight. Chapter eight. Yeah. I, that, okay. So I lied. I did work a little bit on it. I wrote a paragraph. I'm proud of you. I Look know. at you. I'm thriving. Oh my God. <laughs> She's over here. Like I didn't do it. And I'm like, nay, nay, but you did. Yeah. But, um, also, with how I do it, how I do the like punctuation and all that, I know that if I don't do it as I write it, I will not fix it. Yep. And also, I'm very self-conscious about it because with my ADHD and dyslexia, I don't catch a lot of it. I do not understand punctuation. Right. I don't either. I feel like it gets I, – I feel like I use it incorrectly, but to me, it looks right. Yeah. Like, I don't understand any of it. And, like, I understood it while we were in school because right. I had teachers helping me. But right. now that we're out of school, I can't. Isn't it funny, though, how, like, in school they're like, this is everything you need to know. Which I feel like it's different for people who go to college. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you as, like, running a retail store, I have not used one goddamn thing from algebra, from, like, history. Not one single fucking thing. I just do basic math yeah that's all i do is just basic math and the computer does it for me there's very rarely like if the computer fucks up and i have to like give back change like i have to do that math but i'm not doing i'm not trying to find x or an imaginary number like i'm not oh i hated that oh like, my god that i almost had to take summer school because of that yeah i'm like why the fuck are we finding a non a fake number who came up with this? Like, who decided to add the alphabet to math and add imaginary stuff? I'm sorry, but isn't imaginary supposed to stay imaginary? Right. I'm going to look up who invented algebra. Oh, no. Oh, I let them turn in their grave. Who invented algebra? <laughs> um, 
big ass name that you can't pronounce? Um, foreign. In the context where algebra is identified with the theory of equations, the Greek mathematician oh, Greek. has traditionally been known as the father of algebra, and in context where it is identified in the rules for manipulating and solving equations, Persian ma mathematician Al K H W A R I Z M I. He okay it doesn't really give a year but a long fucking time ago well yeah it, what is up with the greeks and coming up with everything <laughs> the the second thing is is like who really invented algebra because <laughs> like this one they're just like nah this is this is just a simple lie but like who really did it like mm -mm. uh origins of algebra can be traced to the ancient babylonians who developed a positional number system that greatly aided them in solving their rhetorical algebraic equations but like what were they doing how I guess do you have to be in order I, to just do math for fun like i guess maybe like construction and shit they were like hey like we need to find an easier way of doing oh, this yeah, shit instead yeah. of just like guessing but like could you have made okay we can we can all agree algebra's old as fuck yeah we have not found an easier way to do shit okay no to be fair Math was a lot easier when our parents were in school. Yeah. Because they have changed common core math. Oh, yeah. Zero. Common. Like, I would show my dad my math equations, and he's good at math. And he'd be like, what the fuck is this? Okay, my parents had to, like, literally strap me to a chair to get me to do my math homework because I would, I would break down crying and shut down because I did not understand it. And my parents would teach me how they did it in school. My teachers would fail me. Because it's not their way. Yes. I'm like, why, what does it matter? If as I get long the right as you answer, get the answer right, who fucking cares? And, like, there were some things where I could do it in my head, but I couldn't do it on paper. Again, it like, people with ADHD and dyslexia, they have to do things differently. Like, our brains do not work. No. Like, everyone else's. So, I had certain things where I could do it in my head, but I could not write it down. And I would get, like, I would fail because I didn't show my work. I'm like, I'm not cheating. I'm not doing anything bad. It's just I can't do it any other way. Right. I just, I don't know. I feel like basic math does need to be part of your curriculum. However, calculus and algebra 2, algebra 1, if you want to add some algebra in, just like basics and geometry. I think geometry. I like geometry. See, here's the thing. I, I heard something when I was younger, and I didn't think it was real until I took geometry, that if you're bad at algebra, geometry will come to you easier. But if you're bad at geometry, algebra is easier to you. I 100% believe I, that. I believe that as well, because I, I did very good in geometry. Yes. I don't think... Th I think there are more important things that need to be taught in high school. It's like how to pay taxes how to and do how to do taxes, buy a house. How to buy a house. Like... It was shit when when uh, me and you moved into an apartment. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. No. I was guessing the entire time. Luckily, I had the money to just kind of be like, "Here you go," but no one taught us. No, like we. I had to have my parents. I was twenty years old, and I had to have my parents come with me to the bank to figure out how to get a loan to get a car. They don't teach you any. No, of you that. don't know how to get a loan. You don't know how to pay anything. Like. You don't know how to do anything once you leave high school, but you know them. Uh, but you know how to find the fucking imaginary number, and you know about World War Two, which cool. Like I get that they teach us history that way; history doesn't repeat itself. But history it already is. Itself. It is. It's so. Just what's the, way the point? Are. I don't. I don't know. Well, like, like the Han Dynasty, be like, do we really need to know about it? Did right. we really, really need to know about it? Like, World War II and stuff? Yes, I, I do understand because that, that was, is very important. And that was very, very recent. Now, I may be wrong in saying, like, who really needs to know about the Han Dynasty because I don't really remember much about it. I just remember that we well, learned about it. Well, it really depends it. on where you live and, like, what your culture is and stuff like that. Like, I get it. If you learn it based on where you live, great. Right. But... Dude. What are we as Americans going to do about fucking China? Like, like, or I think that's where they were. The Han Dynasty was in China. Yeah. Well, what do we what, didn't learn much about Japan? In school. We didn't. Like, well, that would have been cool to learn about, though, because I'm like, I'm all down for like Tokyo and Japan and shit. Yeah, but that didn't exist when we were. I know. Like, the eras where they would teach us, like, none of that existed. No. But like, then but there's the let, debate. Let us, let us teach you about the Silk Road. Yeah. Like, things like that, like slavery and shit, 100%, I think, should stay. The Holocaust oh, yes. should stay. Um, there's been debates about LGBT um, 
history being taught and people are so against it. Why though? Because it goes against the Bible, but I can also sit here and tell you like my views on it. Like in the Bible, it does say man shall not lie with man. However, That's back in the about- day, um, the, it, I believed it used, it was going to be say man shall not lie with boy as a form of pedophilia is within mm-hmm. the church because that, the back then the churches were having issues with priests molesting children, especially young boys. And I'm not, I'm not, saying that it's still going on i'm just saying that that is what happened long time ago yeah so it was changed to man shall not lie with man over the years we've construed that as boys shall not lie with boys women shall not lie with women that is a sin no in my opinion it's what the bible is saying is that man shall not lie with man as in pedophilia should not be condoned it is a sin to be a pedophile to molest a child it is a sin to do that Mm-hmm. being gay is simply not a sin because here's my thing your sky daddy created everything i don't believe in you know what? i go back and forth i don't know if i'm if god's real and if he is cool can't wait to meet him but i'm i'm just kind of existing okay for me i don't care what you believe in what you do in your private time if it's not harming me or the people i love then who cares do you okay sleep with whoever you want to get whatever you want it tattooed on you get right. however many piercings die who cares hair however you want do what you, you want. live once it baby is, you live once right like it is your life you do what you want but for me with the whole bible thing mm-hmm. people are very nitpicky i'm not saying everyone no like again yeah, I, i'm I've not met, coming after religion at all i've met christians and um jews and everybody who are 100 percent for the I gays work for a jewish guy yeah so it's like i don't we're not what we are mean. not stereotyping that all oh, no, no, religions no, no. are like this you know people people can be a part of a religion but also have different views from their religion yes okay this is just from personal experience yeah. people i have met um but I have noticed that certain people are very nitpicky about what they believe in when they when it comes to the Bible. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, like a, a lot of Americans, like America loves football. Yes. Loves football. It's, it's a sin. It's a sin to touch the skin of a dead pig. Yep. Like you and I would be stoned to death right now because we're wearing two different types of thread. Yep. And we're tattooed. Yep. And I'm gay. Hi. According to you, I'm queer, but the just you're the, queer. <laughs> the debate's still out on that, but there ain't nothing wrong with it though. So like, like you said, as long as it's not my whole thing has been like, oh, I hate gay people. Be like, are they trying to get with you? No. Then what? Why is it your business? Right? Who cares? Why if a do man you wants have to dress and kiss a man? Who cares if a woman wants to dress like a man? Who cares if people want to change their actual gender? But then you'll have people. So like, for example, with me where I look like a female, if I meet someone who's like that, they won't have a problem with me and think I'm the coolest fucking person and all that until I tell them I'm a guy. And then all of a sudden it's a problem. Be like, but you were, you liked me and you were my friend because you thought I was a woman. But now all of a sudden you don't like me. Be like, so you're basically saying my gender and my sexuality ruined everything for you, but my personality you like, that's not how that should be. Okay. If you don't want them hitting on you, that's that's your thing. But, like, dude, they weren't hitting on you to begin with. So now that you know that they're gay, they're, you're like, oh, I don't want no because they're going to try to get with me and whatnot. They didn't try to get with you before. So right. what's changed? Just your knowledge about them. You just know now. So, like, I was going to make a TikTok before I, because I, I'm not on camera anymore. I don't, do, I don't post pictures of myself or anything right now. I was going to be like, you know, I'm not friends with a lot of straight people. Like, guys. Mm-hmm. Because here's my thing. They either. <laughs> so some gay people give us a bad rap. OK. Oh, yeah. They're, some they're of them are so. like like James Charles. We do uh, not. We, we not are. He is not ours. We he's not ours. He's not here. No, he's we do not claim him. I, I feel like I'm not friends or with Jeffrey a lot Star. of or Jeffree Star. I feel like I'm not friends with a lot of straight people because either two things happen. Either they're just uncomfortable with how I look or they're fe- they feel like they're going to be attracted to me because of how I look. And I'm friends with, well, I thought two straight guys. Now I'm friends with one straight guy who's still questionable sometimes. I, oh, no. Come on. We, That's a uh, joke, by the way. He's 100% straight. We just yeah. we just fuck with him. Yeah, we, we just like to mess with him because, like, he, uh, 
He's a really sweet guy. He's he very, is. very nice. He's our best friend. Like, he's oh, great. Oh, my God. We, we love him. It's just, okay, growing up, it was me, Jay, Keith, and then our friend Morgan. Well, we all went through the whole... It is. Like, a, there was a square. I have oh, it tattooed on me, too. You do have it tattooed on you, but... Because oh, that was it such it a... It was not a square. It was a fucking octagon. But that was such a time. I had to get it tattooed. Oh, my God. Because, okay, so I have a tattoo on my back. It's MKJH. It stands for Morgan, Keith, J, and Haley. But they have arrows on them. So <laughs> I liked Keith a lot. So mine and Keith, I think ours are... Hold on, turn around. Ours, are ours filled in or not? Uh, you're covered. You're covered. Okay. Um, so it's MKJH. Um, you guys each have arrows. Yeah, we each have arrows. Um, so Morgan is pointing down. Keith is pointing to the side. You are pointing the are other way, and I'm pointing down. Which ones down. are filled in? Uh, the yeah, you and Keith. Okay, so me and Keith are filled in arrows because I liked Keith, and then Morgan and Haley's are open because um. There was shit. I, I don't know how to explain it. Me and Keith are filled in because I feel like that was what our friends were hoping for too was me and Keith. And then me and Keith and our friends were kind of hoping for you and Morgan too. And then junior year. Oh, oh my you. God. Let me, let this bitch tell you what oh she did because this was God. rude. This it was, was so, this was just disrespectful. Oh my God. Do you know how mad we were because it wasn't real. I was so pissed and you let it go on for so long. Like a month or two. So oh. see, uh, junior year. Bitch. Uh, Morgan and I went to different schools. Uh, went to a different school than the guys. Okay, we met Morgan in seventh grade where I started a new school. Again, I was a bitch, but Morgan let me cheat off of her in math class, so we were good. <laughs> That's how she and I met. You were cheating off her? Uh-huh. You fucking lazy bitch. I <laughs> it's math. We just covered how I can't do math. You're right. <laughs> However, um, you were correct. Yeah, so... Anyway, she and I got really, really close. Like, she's my best friend and all that. Um, and... <laughs> So junior year, we're like, you know what? How about for April Fools, we tell everyone that we're dating, like everyone. And we went all out, okay? She wrote me a note asking me out. We held hands, we hugged, and blah blah blah, all of it. We even had my parents going, okay? Oh my god, I forgot your parents were in on it. I told dad, and grandma was like, oh, good. Grandma was rude. Okay, so I really thought my grandma was going to be like against the gays because she's so well, Catholic. But she would let me so... stay over your house because she thought you were gay. That's why. No, because I would sleep in your bed. Remember? She thought you were gay. That's why. Because she knew I was gay. At that point, it'd be straight. No, she was okay with you sleeping in my bed because she thought you were gay. And she already knew I was gay. So she's like, she likes pussy. He likes dick. They ain't going to do nothing. Meanwhile, like, Keith wasn't allowed to sleep in my bed after I told grandma. Because mm -hmm. she was like, they going to do something. Jay going to get pregnant. And I tried. <laughs> oh, I try. I'm still trying to get pregnant. It's just not working. I really want to be on the news for it. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, okay. I'll be the cool aunt. Thanks. Yep. I'll spoil them, like, pump full of sugar and give them the most annoying toys and send them home. Thanks. I'm so excited for That's that. That's what my parents did when I was a kid. Please don't do that to me. Yeah, it was a war between them. Oh, my God. Who would get the most annoying toys for Christmas? My uncle did that. He bought me a drum and a guitar. Oh, see, when we were young, it was Elmo and Barney oh, no. and all that. Teletubbies. They're you gay. Know? I love the Teletubbies. I saw a thing. God, what was it? The Teletubbies are... Yeah, this is gonna drive me nuts. I can't think of it. Was it the Hobbit? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that was it. I saw that on Facebook the other day. Um. No, anyway, it's not the Hobbit. It was Lord of the Rings. Lord of the like Rings. That's that's Frodo, what it was. Frodo, yep. Sam, uh, Merry and Pippin. Yep. Um. So back to it. You had your parents in on it. Yeah, we had like. My mom thought we were together and wanted my mom. She's. But what started this was an April Fool's joke, right? Yes. That you originally just played on Keith and I. No, it was everyone. Oh, everyone? Everyone. Like at school and shit too? Even our teachers thought we were together. Oh my God. Okay, because we had multiple classes together. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, our teachers ended up putting us at the same table. Yeah, no, they were... They were like, we want them to get together. They're cute. Like, it was a huge thing. And after April Fool's, Morgan and I just kind of forgot about it. And she and I have always been... Like, we're... 
they're best friends they're girls use your imagination yeah like, we're, we're always stuff. like over like all on top of each they're other handsy and, everything. and it's like, just a girl it's, thing i guess yeah like we well like i'm doing i do that with my girlfriends too like with you i've known you forever like i'm handsy like we'll hug we'll hold hands it, it doesn't mean anything but we've been friends for so long like, it's it, just a thing it, yeah so we just kept on going on like any other day and then like a month or two later our friend kaylee is like so how's everything going we're like what do you mean you know it's you two dating shit you guys forgot yes and you never told anyone it was a fucking joke we forgot as the day went on okay because april fool's day uh keith and jay picked us up from school and we hung out we ended up getting caught up and hanging out with you guys that we just forgot yeah i still have the note of her asking me out by the way I have everything. I even have the picture of your your sister drew me of you and Keith being eaten and her and I standing there holding hands. My sister? Yep. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I think she was seven when she drew that for me. Oh, my God. Doesn't it feel weird Yeah. that we are 23? I am married. <laughs> yeah. Married. I'm still single as can fucking be, but. But we've known each other half of our lives more than half isn't that fucking we wild we were 10 bitch you literally met me when i was so damn poor like not even like cute poor like poverty living on the street yeah we foreclosed on our house yeah that shit's wild i don't like I it know. like what did i do oh um three days ago five years ago high school graduation for us for me and keith um, five fucking years uh, five years ago today was a uh, prom for me. Jesus Christ. I look back at pictures and I was like, what were we thinking? Well, like, I don't look the same at all. I look the same. I just lost a ton of weight. Right. You look good now. Like, you look great. I was looking back at prom pictures because our prom was after graduation, I think. No. No, 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 no. It was, I think, like two days before. Because yeah, the bitch was like, if you, the, the assistant principal at the time, she was a fucking cunt. She was like, yeah, if you guys try anything at prom, I'll hold your diplomas. I'm like, no, you can't fucking do that. But okay, bitch, go off. I fucking hate her. And she's still there. She's a piece of fucking shit. She's still there. She's still, I remember she, the horror stories about her. She tried to give me and my friend at the time detention because we wouldn't get on a loaded bus. This bitch was so for loading these buses, obviously before COVID. It was five years ago. Loading these buses three to a seat. So she was like, go down to that bus. Me and my friend didn't move because we knew it was full. So then the second bus opens and she's like, you two, come with me. I just had hip surgery and she sh she opens the door on my fucking hip. And then she tells me, sit down. Be like, if I sit down, I'm not getting up. So I'm like, I'm not going to sit down. She's like, are you a senior? I'm like, yeah. She's like, wouldn't it be a shame if you didn't graduate? I'm like, wouldn't it be a shame if I called your fucking boss and told him that you're holding me from going to a class because of a bus? Bitch, do not get stupid with me. Yeah. I fucking hate this bitch so much. She's still there. I damn near ran her over when I went to go pick up Ashley. Why didn't you? 50 points. She was standing in, because they have two parking lots, one in the front, one in the back. I was picking up Ashley from Band, which is in the back. I saw like five really nice cars going to the back. Me and my Saturn tried to go to the back. She stops me. And she comes to my window. She's like, can I help you? I'm like, I'm here to pick up my sister. She's like, you need to go to the front with everybody else. I'm like, but she's in the band room. She's like, I don't care. This is off limits. I'm like, the gate's open. I just saw five fucking cars go in here that looked a hell of a lot nicer than mine. This is Lance Cruz. Y'all aren't that goddamn special. Get the fuck out of my way. On top of that, you want me to turn around when there's a line right behind me. I can't get back into that fucking road. And if you won't let me go in there to turn around, how the fuck do you want me to do that? She's like, just back up. I'm like, you want me to reverse into a one lane road, like one lane on each side. Mm -hmm. How the fuck? Like, bitch, I will hit you. I hate this bitch so fucking much. She's such a piece of shit. Um, horrible fucking person. Hate her. She's a, she's a fucking dumbass. I don't know how anybody fucking married her. Um, but it's just, so, it's just fucking weird. Because I remember when you guys moved into your house. Because I went yeah. with you guys to look at it. No, you were helping us bring stuff in. But, okay, so a little layout, like a little description about my house. Okay, it's, what is it called? A bi-level? It's, it's a tri-level house. Tri-level. Thank you. And so you walk you walk inside the house and you're greeted by a staircase going upstairs and a staircase going going downstairs. Yeah, you're at kind of like a landing and you yeah. have a choice either to go up or go down. Well, upstairs are the bedrooms and downstairs is the living room and kitchen and laundry room and blah, blah, blah. 
Well, there is a wall dividing the living room and the kitchen, and it has... Like a half wall, kind of like a bar. It's not really a bar, because there's no tabletop, but there's there's, yeah. like a, there's a window. Yeah. There's a window. Well, before I, There's we... a name for him, I just don't know what yeah, the fuck it's no, called. Yeah, no, don't ask me for names yeah. for shit. But, um, <laughs> it was so funny. He, for some reason, he and I got into this huge wrestling match... Which we did a lot back then, mm-hmm. and I threw his ass through that window into the kitchen. <laughs> My parents don't remember it, and they were standing right there. They were watching it happen. They don't remember. See, memory is very shitty. I can remember fun times with my friends and stuff, but like, ask me about math class or like, no fucking clue, no or idea. Hanging out with your dad, I don't. Remember. No idea. I remember the only time I remember like with dad is he was like yelling at me because like, you know me, I've never been afraid of yelling back at my parents. I feel like I parent my parents more than they parented me sometimes. And he yelled at me and I like yelled back and you're like, why did you yell back? I'm like, Oh, cause I don't care. And you just thought it was the weirdest shit because I yelled back. Well, you, okay. At the time you did not know my dad. Right. But after getting to know him, you know why yeah. I'm a scared little shit. You were like, what the fuck? Like how, I can yell at my mom no problem. Like, she and I... Like, yeah, but you have no reason to. I know. Like, my mom and I, were. I'm her clone. Okay? Yes. Okay? I am her. Yes. And, like, she and I get along? Fantastic. Okay? She had me when she was 18, so we're really close in age and whatnot. So, she's more like an older sister than a mom. Yeah. But she knows how to be a mom when she needs to be. Yeah. No. But if I have to yell at my dad or my stepdad, oh, not happening. I turn into a pussy. I'm not doing it. I just like to yell. <laughs> like that's that's I always been my thing. You. Hmm? I don't think we've had. We've had a couple of screams, but, but they're not bad. But the thing, like with me, is I don't like even with Steve and stuff. He, I don't like people who, when confrontation happens or like if we're in an argument, they like to leave to clear their head. I completely get why they want to, but me, I that just makes me more mad. So, like, when me and Steve were in an argument, he was trying to leave. And I was like, no. Like, don't be a fucking pussy. Like, if we're arguing and you have the balls to yell at me and get in my face and yell at me, fucking stay here and finish it like a fucking man. Like, don't leave. Mainly because if you leave, I will literally destroy the fucking house. Yep, I was witness to one of those. Like, if we're in an argument, I don't like people leaving until... Because arguments happen. Fights happen. I like to resolve them as fast as possible. Get it all out. But I don't want to leave that person until we're good Mm -hmm. and i don't think we had that very often and if we did we resolved it fairly fast except for that one time we we took a minute but we knew we would we we knew we would be fine yeah no it was it um, was just shit happens and yeah okay so we didn't argue often so i guess we were kind of (laughs) due oh yeah no it it was it was due but like we're really good friends we can't live together no and that's okay. Yeah, that no, is perfectly it, it that is perfectly okay. But uh, yeah, he and I didn't really talk for I'll say like two months. Uh, more more like four after I moved out. Well, I know we talked very little, but we yeah. weren't talking like we had used to. Yeah, it was very awkward for a little yeah. while. But we knew we would get over it. Yeah. Like, and you know, I I made a video on YouTube about what it's like to move out at eighteen, and I was like, look, like if you don't have like the money to do it, you're gonna have to get a roommate. I don't recommend moving in with your best friend mainly because like we've known each other a really long time now if someone in your opinion if someone who had been friends with someone for like maybe a year two years moved in i don't think they'd be friends oh hell no i don't think that would have lasted i think the only reason that we were okay is because we've been friends for so long and i feel like we've gone years without arguments so i feel like it all just kind of came at once. Like, we, the, we were due for one. Don't oh, get yeah. me wrong. You're always due to have an argument. If you don't argue with your friends, they ain't your fucking friends. Right. Then they just fake bitches. Yeah. But, because um, it, what I do is I like having friends that will tell me how it is. Yeah. And I'm, that, and I'm that friend to people. Like, if you're doing some stupid shit, I will tell you you're doing some stupid shit. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. And, like, the worst it has been for us, like over the years minus that big argument right. is if we get into an argument we just look at each other and go shut the fuck up yeah and that's it yeah end of argument we're done but i i know not everyone's like that yeah so like with me and keith it was not like that oh my god the arguments you guys went the arguments he and i would get into i would call him out so fast let's just say we were very 
I, I, I am not we afraid to admit that I was a very shitty person yeah, in high we school. We were a dysfunctional group. Let's leave it at that. Because we were I feel like dysfunctional. I feel like we were trying to be more grown than we were. Especially me. Like I, I, I felt like I was trying to be because I've always wanted to grow up fast. Yeah. And I don't regret wanting to grow up fast. Like I didn't go to college for a reason because I wanted to grow up. I wanted yeah. to get an apartment. I wanted to get married. Like I want to have kids. Like I've always wanted to grow up fast. But I feel like doing that in high school is especially like with all, everything we were all going through, not just specifically me, but like you with your dad, Keith was hit with his dad. Like it, I, Morgan with her dad, we just had daddy problems. Oh yeah. The whole group had daddy, daddy issues. issues. It was just a mess. Yeah. But me and Haley have never had like the whole thing with me and Keith. We've never had something like that happen. No. Like me and Keith blocked each other. Like it, it was bad. Me and you have never had a problem like that. It was just, we're best friends. Like Haley said, we, we just can't live together. And no. sometimes it works, but I want to say majority of the time that just doesn't work. Yeah. Like even with Steve, sometimes like, excuse me. Like even with Steve, like sometimes I'm just like, you know, I could fucking kill you. Yeah. But again, you signed up for that. You you signed the piece of paper. You're very good. But, you were there. I did. Yep. <laughs> um, we do have some questions and then we're going to, we got 15 minutes of questions. And then okay. um, this is going to be a part two. Because we have a lot to talk about for our, our uh, friendship. We've been friends for a long time. we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, a lot So of uh, we'll have a part two. Um, but we're going to do questions now. And then we'll be back for next week for part two. Um, so first question is, is, what would be your perfect day? Day, not date. So like just a perfect day. Yeah, perfect day. I feel um, like we should do this for answering for each other. So like I would tell you what your perfect day would be because I feel like I would fucking know. Okay. All right. So for you, I feel like your perfect day would be you would go to a bookstore and you would get maybe like three or four books that you've been so excited to get because I know sometimes you hate waiting especially like with Amazon Prime and shit like you don't wait long but you want that book now yes like I've seen you some of those books that you're like I need that book now <laughs> right um, you kind of get a little scared I feel like doing that you going home lighting him in some incense or candles or something and just curled up with some chocolate and reading a book all snuggled up in bed on a, on a, like a fall or winter day. I feel like that's like your perfect day yeah. and just vibing and just having a great time, just oh, comfortable you, and with your books. You miss something though. What did I miss? Harry Potter playing in the background. Okay. Can you do that though? Like have movies playing yeah. while you read? Okay. I get distracted if I no, do that. Uh, so like if I'm reading, I have to come in here while Steve's not home. No. See when I read, I can't have silence. I need to have really? a plane or a, or a movie on because then I get lost in thought and I end up not reading. Interesting. So if I have well, noise, you have really bad ADD as well. ADHD now. I'm yes. sorry. It's ADHD now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If I have noise on in the background, it helps me stay focused. Okay. Damn. That's why I had to play music all the time growing up when we were kids uh, yep. to do homework. There you go. I mean, I used to do I used to do homework while watching TV, but that might explain like why my grades were shit. Oh, it's why my grades were shit, but I still got my work done. I mean, as long as it got done, right? It was. Part yeah. I think the homework was like participation and shit. Yeah. Okay. So. So what would be my perfect day? Your perfect day would be the weather that it is today. So like oh, eight. God, no, I hate it. no, no. Listen. So like mid seventies, eighties, no humidity, mm -hmm. a nice breeze, um, and you and your boo and your dog going out, um, uh, having some alone time together, then coming home. Playing video games. What kind? Final Fantasy. There we bitch. go, baby. There we go. It gotta be the fantasy. And it gotta be the fantasy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you right, baby. And then this ain't lightning for nothing. <laughs> nope. And then having your friends come over, getting drunk together. Yes, bitch. <laughs> and then finally, um, tying the little cherry stem with your boo. With my what? <laughs> with your boo, with Steve. Oh, I thought you said my boob. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, you think my titties are magic or something? <laughs> Tying cherry stems and knots, like they yeah. don't do, they don't do all that. Damn, they barely stay up. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus, I'm getting fat. They sag now. <laughs> Shut up. I can't do all that shit. But you are, you are very correct. Um, I do really like spending time with Steve, and I really do like spending time with my dog. I love my dog. Um, the Final Fantasy, you got that right, baby. I mean, we always got to do Final Fantasy at least one day a week. Yeah. That's One why day. it's tattooed on you. And that's why I'm lightning, baby. All day. What is your all-time favorite memory with each other? You want us to pick? Um, okay. That's hard. That, no, the one that instantly comes to no! mind. No! You're going to hate me. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it's not. Is that really? It's the first thing that comes to mind. You bitch. I'm the, okay, come Say on. Say it. Go ahead. No, it, okay. it was vandalism. I, <laughs> I, I was a bad bitch, okay? I apologize. Well, okay, he was a little hoe. Listen. <laughs> they know. <laughs> yeah. So They're, They are aware. <laughs> so we. I think this was sophomore year. I had short hair, babe. Senior. Oh, senior year. Because my hair was short and red. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it was senior year. We're, we're all walking because we always it's hung Halloween. out. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween party. Yeah, we always hung out at Jay's dad's house. It was just a place to go. It was yep. either Jay's dad's house or my house. Mm-hmm. And there was a woods by his house. And we we went there. We hung out. But on the way back, we saw a light post in someone's front oh, yard. Oh, no. And Jay's like, hey, look at this. And he starts acting like a stripper. Me, being the person I am, I document everything, okay? I love getting pictures and videos and whatnot. I told him, like, hey, do it again. Do it again. And Do a flip. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, do it again. I want to get a, I want to get a little video. Well, he did it. Instantly, as soon as he touched it, the light post went down and On shattered. top of me. On top of you. We didn't even see if he was okay. We all scattered. You all, the only person that checked on me and ran to me was Keith, because he a real one. <laughs> Y'all fucking booked it and acted like you didn't know who the fuck I was. We were not about to get arrested in Roseville, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. So, we all booked. There was a good, like, ten of us. We booked it. Luckily, the owners were on vacation. And they but got it replaced. It's sat- and they got a nice one. They got a really nice yeah. one. Yeah. But it sat there for like a week. Oh my god, it was. And so- every time my dad drove past, he's like, "I wonder what happened." I'm like, "I don't know." Okay, the thing is, I don't know why we ran because it was the middle of the night. Yeah. No one. could It was see like us. one in the morning or something. Like no one was up. But suddenly, you just see like ten teenagers take off in all directions. Yep, we all just scattered. Oh my. We god. all met up back at the house and we're like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" I had glass all over my back. Like Keith was like brushing me off while he's standing there. I'm like, "We need to fucking run." Like, what do we I understand you want to like groom me like a monkey, but we need to fucking leave. We need to go. <laughs> like, oh. we are going to go to jail. <laughs> like, we broke this run. I don't know how we all ended up back at your dad's house cuz we all took off. I think you and Morgan ran towards the house. Me and Keith ran towards the park. We went around the long way. Oh. Hannah Hannah was there. Hannah and Ashton. Yeah, Hannah was there. Oh, Hannah and Ashton just walked. They were just like, oh, we're just going to pretend like we don't know who the fuck you are. I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, my God. It was. And then Nick was with us. Yep. He didn't give a fuck. No, oh, no. He booked it, too. Oh, my God. He's been arrested so much. I know. Like, not even kidding. He like, popped up with people I may know. Oh, really? Yeah. No. I, I, I blocked him. I think the last time I talked to him was, like, the luau last, last year. He looks exactly the same as he did in high school. I know. He didn't age. It's like, what the fuck? My favorite memory with you, <laughs> it's when we were really little in the pool. Oh, no. Because we were oh, so... We were so innocent. We were so shy. No. This was before I was like a stripper and we were young. Oh, we were like 11 years old, yeah, right? this was the summer after sixth grade when was, I was about to move. No, we did move because you, you guys had already me left. At, yeah, you guys dropped me off at my new house. Yep. Oh my god. It was, it was so funny. We were in the pool, right? My dad used. To, my dad, our neighbor. My dad's neighbor has this pool. Has lights in it. It's heated, so we would go swimming at night. So Haley came over. We go swimming. Me and her were both single, and I thought we're she was eleven years old. Of we're eleven. We're single. Um. So we're sitting in the pool, and Haley was like, "So, like, is there anybody in school that you like?" And I was like. Well, I don't really know anybody. So I was like, yeah. So we were both stupid and we we're like, yeah, the girl I like has like brown hair. And you were like, oh, the guy I like has like blonde hair because I was like blonde, blonde at the fucking time. And I was a brunette at the time. Yeah. And, um, and we were like, oh, well, the person I like has like a younger sister. And the, you're like, how weird. The person I like has a younger sister. It was just this. We went back and forth for, I want to say, a good maybe like 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, yeah. It was a good hour Bef- that we were doing this. Before <laughs> we were finally like, yeah, we like each other. But the best part of it is we admitted we liked each other. And didn't do shit. But for like a month after, nothing happened. It was just like, cool, yeah, we like each other. Nothing happened. Remember this. When you guys dropped dropped me off, we're like, let's let's play a prank on your dad. It was supposed to be that I kissed you on the cheek. But we both went in at the same time to kiss each other's cheek and got the corners of our mouths. Yep. So we freaked out and didn't really talk for a month. Yeah. It was just, it was like... I don't know. I think it's just like the kid thing. Like, okay, oh I like God. her. He like I like him, but like, it's awkward now. 
Oh, it was god. just oh my god it, it was, was so cute it's so cute when i look back at it and i'm like oh like little bitches like if only oh. they knew <laughs> if only they knew what was ahead of them i've only been like sweetheart he she ain't got a dick like she ain't he, no, she okay, ain't if for you back, if we could go back and like like meet our younger selves i'd be like don't do it you know i wouldn't change anything honestly well, because i feel like that made us very very close very quick yeah but we also had a lot uh, okay, when we were dating, we were on It was on hard. And off. It was very hard. Okay, from the ages of 11 to 16, yep. we were on and off. Yeah. We were not a good couple. No. Oh, my God. We're better as friends. Oh, hell yeah. So. But the funny thing is, is like, even when we broke up, we were still best friends. Oh, yeah. Like, we never let that affect us because I think we both knew at the time, like. We just knew we, that we, we were more knew, like brother we, and sister. We knew we were better as friends, but I, I think we just didn't want to be alone while because ev- everybody else in school was dating, and we're like, we don't want to be like left out and, and shit. And at that time, we had got Morgan and Keith together. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember that. That was a dark time. We are not touching yeah. that right no, now. No, we won't talk about that. Yeah. No, that that was a dark time. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I, I don't regret anything about it. I don't either. But I do. I do feel bad because, like, I feel bad for you because i feel like number one i wasn't a really good boyfriend like at all i wasn't a good good girlfriend well number two i was like i kept sitting there like why am i dating her because we go to two different schools i don't see it was before any of us drove i don't see her all that much like she could get a different dude at high school like or whatever but then i feel like it was just all pent up because as soon as we broke up is when i met dan yes and then Shit. They know about that. That was a shit show. Yeah. And then you met Isaac in between us oh, dating. Oh, we are not talking about that little imp. We're not doing it. The little imp. Okay. Okay. He, uh, he, he's a little dude, okay? Yeah. Like, he's, he's a smaller guy. Well, no. He's tall now. He's oh, did he shoot up? You. He shot. Damn. He, he shot, shot up. up. Okay. I'll still kick his ass. Oh, yeah. No, he's yeah. better than you, I think. So. Jesus Christ. I'm like borderline anorexic. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just built different, too. <laughs> he hit body different. But, okay, so I we always called him, like, little dude and whatnot. Yeah. He was just small. Yeah. And, like, he, he laughed along with it. He knew it was a joke. Yeah. We're not being mean at all. It wasn't bullying. He, no, he, he, no, no. Like, he's the one that started it. Right. Okay, he's the one that told us to call him all these things. Right. And... He had such a crush on me because we both liked Percy Jackson. Mm-hmm. It became an obsession. Okay, he lives in Canada now. Oh, wow, really? He's been living there for years. Oh. Whenever he comes to Michigan, he messages me. Like, hey, you want to hang out? No, dude, I don't because I think mm. your obsession is still there. Yeah. Because, yeah, we never dated. Okay, Isaac and I never oh, dated. Oh, you never dated? No. Oh, my God, I thought you did. No. Damn. Damn. I was single from the point we broke up until I got with Brendan the summer after senior year. Oh, my God. That's right. Yeah. I am a pathetic bitch when it comes to dating. Oh, my God. No. Oh, okay. Good. No, 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 no. no. You're caught. You guys are now iffy on, like, the sexuality spec- spectrum. Okay. You're full on gay. And Brendan, we're, we're still discussing that one. Right. But I, I want to say, like, I think you're cautious. And I think that's very smart. Especially yeah. looking at like how my relationships have gone, I, I don't, I don't blame you for gone. being cautious, like yeah. at all. I think it's very smart, and you're taking your time, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's still like, he- right? But we are out of time for this podcast. However, we are going to come back in a minute, and and we will continue this conversation. Oh no! But um, until next time, make sure you follow us on our social medias. Um,